Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Finally made it to World 4. Time to explore the Deep Keep. At some point in this mission, you're going to want to definitely make sure that you have access to Dixie. There may or may not be some secret goodies that you can't get without her. <gasps> I always enjoy these little cutscenes that they have. That's beginning. Today's episode is going to be one that potentially may take me no tries. I mean, beyond the one, obviously. Or many tries. I'm going to lean probably towards the latter just because I know how good I am at this game. I'm also willing to be completely honest with myself. Try that sometime. Honesty is the best policy. I mean, I feel like that's a phrase that people say. What they should say is that honesty is the best policy with tact. I'm sure those of you watching have heard that some people like to share information or go about talking to people with hard truths or brutal honesty. But in my experiences, the people who believe in that kind of stuff, at least the brutal honesty part, are usually buttholes. So take that with a grain of salt. Okay, I don't think I... This is the one thing that annoys me about these... Okay. Whew. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that. I think that there is definitely a place in the world for the occasional hard truth. You know, there's going to be moments in life where someone tells you something you don't want to hear. Especially if you're stubborn like me. And it can be good. It can be good to have somebody willing to, to, be, a, to be real with you. Oops, I didn't want Cranky. Oops. Okay. Now I have to kill myself. I kept talking to... <laughs> I was getting so invested in my in my conversation. I don't know if there's a fast way to kill myself. We'll have this fish just chomp on us. See, I think we die if the oxygen goes, goes down. This is actually kind of morbid. Sorry, Donkey Kong. Well, you'll get to see what happens if you can't breathe. That animation's kind of cute. But also, you know, kind of sad. Well, that's our first drowning death. Oops. Totally preventable. But as I was saying, I think that it's good to have somebody in your life who is willing to help get you back to basics sometimes. Maybe if you're floundering a bit. If your life's feeling a little fishy. It's always good to have somebody that's willing to prioritize getting you back on your feet. And sometimes that does take a hard truth. I understand that. But then there's people that take it to the next level, which is not good in my opinion. The... Brutal honesty. Usually that's somebody who doesn't know how to have tact. And they, they excuse themselves by saying, well, I'm usually just brutally honest. You can just say that you're a butthole. And that's just how it is. Alright, so go ahead and get yourself a nice, refreshing, bubbly drink of oxygen. This level isn't too bad. It is a bit, it, it in of itself is a bit of a butt, if I'm being honest. It has some weird dynamics, like electric eels. It's also huge, by the way. That's, that's what she referred to. Um, yeah, it's a big level. There's a lot to do in it, a lot to miss kind of annoying. These electric eels are definitely the biggest butts of all. They'll shoot out currents, and you have to avoid them. 
all while making sure that you pay attention to that oxygen meter. It does go down pretty slowly though. Oh, come on. I'm not paying attention to my health, that's for sure. And that's a hard truth. Okay. Yeah, you definitely don't want to lose Dixie in here. That would be bad news. It'd be really cool if there was a heart somewhere around. I don't think I'm going to get lucky and find one. But if you dip in this little alcove here, you'll find that puzzle piece. Just hiding out. Just minding its own business. Don't you hate it when you're just trying to mind your own business? And someone just comes busting into your barrel? I can't stand it. Okay, so... I think... So it looks like we needed to open up this sea butthole. We'll get sucked into it. It appears that this is a pathway. And for those of you listening, one of the best songs in Donkey Kong history. Oops. Hopefully there's another chance to get Dixie or I'm going to have to redo this. I mean, I'm going to have to redo it eventually anyway, but... And you'll see why. You can't do this level in one go, unfortunately. Spoilers. Man, I am just... I'm really good at running into stuff. Or dying. <laughs> As I hit the halfway point. The game's cheering me on like, come on, stupid! Okay, here we go. Back in the drink. Yes, we actually will want to get Dixie back if we can. If not, then I will be redoing this level twice. That's fun, you love that. Actually, I could just consider myself doing it. I mean, I'm gonna do it. You have to do this level twice, no matter what, if you want to finish it. So, two times to beat this level off, at least. Going in here, though, this is this level's kind of sneaky. Likes to hide stuff. I don't particularly appreciate that. But it does make it a little more interesting. It is kind of, uh, you know, it's not your average Joe level. This one might be a little bit more for those of us who are advanced players, maybe? Yeah, we'll say that. Oh boy, I almost missed that. I say that as I'm like really bad at what I'm doing here. We gotta hurry up. I was dilly-dallying and now I gotta hurry. Whew. I was full clench trying to finish that. Complete transparency. Complete honesty. Hard truth. Soft truth. Oof. Okay. Yes. Enjoy Aquatic Ambience. My favorite Donkey Kong song. Alright, so there we go. Another opportunity to get Dixie back. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. I don't have time for you. Yeah. This one's definitely about Kong Panion management, as well as oxygen management. Oof. Staying away from urchins manument, man, manument? Can't even talk. I'm just getting so flustered. No, I'm okay. But you'll definitely want Dixie in this one. Her corkscrew hair is one of the only ways to, to make progress in certain cases. Come on, game. I mean, you can take your time and not do it like that, but I do think that's kind of annoying. Having to wait. I'm impatient, okay? I want my Donkey Kong game to be played the way I want it now. You play however you want, viewer, but I know what's best for me. Now, you'll see that glowing area up above. This is something that I have no clue how they would ever expect the average person to know about this. And... If I'm being completely honest, as I always am with my viewers, finding this, I... I would never have been able to find it on my own, so... Don't feel foolish if you can't find it on your own. Don't worry about it. But I'm gonna show you something. So the game expects you to keep going, and you can. But you're gonna wanna not do that. Instead, you can pop up here. But we'll save that, what's above there, for the return visit, because you still gotta do it. So we're not gonna be able to get all the puzzle pieces 
in this trip. That's okay. That's okay. I don't think there's anything of note in these little save pig rooms, as far as I know. Ooh, spikes. Okay. We've got everything so far, I believe. You gotta be quick. Oop, no, no, I don't. Well, I guess I'm not getting that. Oop, or that. Oh my gosh. One of the things that is very annoying when you play this is the momentum that you have when you swim forward is really hard to, really hard to stop. Once you get going, it's kind of like ice physics, I guess. Or I, I mean, I don't know if that's how underwater physics would work in the real world. But then again, also, this is a video game, so take that with a grain of salt or maybe with a drop of water. Okay, Oop, we are gonna die if we don't find oxygens. Can we find some? Oops. Oh no. Oh wait, there we go. Oh, I want it. Okay. Whew. But coming down here is important. You gotta dodge the electric eels and his electricities. He's kind of being a bit of a jerk. Come on, shoot us. There we go. And we'll bonk him away. It would be really unfortunate if you weren't able to do that. That would make me really mad. Okay. But yeah, this oxygen management part of this level, uh, not super fun. Not, not my favorite. Okay, well, <laughs> sorry Dixie, lost you again. Hopefully there's another opportunity to get her back, I don't know. I do believe that we don't technically quote, need her. I don't know why I said quote. I don't think we need her for the rest of this level. I think that when you get bananas or banana coins that should refill your uh, your life because, you know, there's probably oxygen in bananas or something, right? There's death. Okay. Let's just settle in here a little bit. Let's make a bit more of a splash this time, shall we? Pulls us back a little bit. Kind of annoying, but that's okay. We need to recalibrate. Oops. Yeah, it's it's that forward momentum that's pretty dang annoying. And the game is pretty merciless with it. Also, who is building this stuff underground? Like these giant gears and stuff? Who's making this? Is it the baddies? Are they doing it? Are they the ones? At least the game is generous enough to make getting oxygen easy when it is available. I say that as if it doesn't completely anger me. Okay. All right. All right, so at the very least, that is all the Kong letters. But we have one last bonus to do, and I think I actually did miss the letter, so I'll have to go back and get it in a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay. We'll have another opportunity, because we do have to come back, like I stated before, in that sneaky area. I think I didn't. I missed maybe one. Ooh. I'm not doing well with this. I'm trying to play this game and commentate sometimes makes my brain all frizzle frazzled. Come on. Ooh. Finish the last one with four and this one with three. Cutting it close. Yeah, it's five. And there will be one you get from when we come back. So I'll definitely make sure I show that off. Okay. So that's five. We, we will get the other two on the second return visit. I hope. Hopefully the one that we're missing is before the little bonus area I was going to show off. Because if not, then... Ugh. That would require three trips, and that would be no bueno. That means no good in Spanish. Okay. So we're back at it. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to brute force this game, I promise. 
There's just some moments where the game is just... The hitboxes are a little questionable. I'm just gonna say that to make myself feel better. They're probably not. There's probably some algorithm out there that's like... Tropical Freeze hitboxes are some of the best in all of gaming history. You just suck. And that would be totally fair. I would totally understand. I think I got this one already. Yes, I did. Okay. I don't know why they put that platform there. It doesn't really serve any purpose. There's just a lot of moments of those bananas everywhere. Floating a boot. And it makes you think that there's actually something to do with them, and there isn't. Feels like a false reward. And yeah, the swimming mechanics in me, we don't vibe super well. And I'm definitely not a fan of these oxygen mechanics. They're getting my goat a little bit. What is big old fish? He's like, oh, excuse me. Why are you bumping into me like that? And he totally has a right to feel that way. Why are we bumping into him like that? We moited him. There's probably some stupid little small cove or thing that I missed. Maybe I just forgot to jam the clam. I don't know. Okay. These big rooms are deceptive. You have to be careful. Okay, I got this one. So far, so good. I need to find more boobles. There they are. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to really tell. It's hard to really know. Oh my gosh. That should not have counted. We got sucked into the ground butthole earlier. Ugh, it's really tough to... I don't want to say steer. I mean, I guess that's technically what we're doing, but... It kind of feels weird to apply the word steering to swimming. Yes, it is hard. Kind of tough to... I don't think this does anything. Nope. I'm just trying to be thorough. Also, how is this not bubbles? Like, come on. That's bubbles, right? Let's go ahead and take a quick breath here. Because this is definitely how swimming underwater works. Oop, got him. Oof, almost got shocked. That would have been a pretty electrifying moment. <laughs> but it's okay. We got more aquatic ambience to enjoy while we try to dip around. What happens if we don't hit that button? Okay, great. Gotta line them up. Start the machine. Start the reactor. We definitely need to find oxygens here shortly. Ooh. Oh, it's down there. I see it. Oh, no. What have I done? I don't know if these are of mention, but on my return visit, I'm always going to be extra careful. I say that as I run into everything. I should say thorough. Maybe careful is not the word. I'm definitely not careful. I definitely like to bonk fishes on the behind. Oh, I guess that those are just little areas for you to get to get air. I suppose that makes sense. And hang out with Mr. Safe Pig. I'd like to know kind of what the inspiration was for Save Pig. I don't, I don't quite get that. I don't know in, maybe my Donkey Kong lore is just, I'm just inferior about it. All right, so we did get that bonus. Oh my goodness. This game is just brutal sometimes. We will want to get Dixie again. And if we can avoid Mr. Electric Eel here. Okay, so that's not a puzzle piece. It always makes me really frustrated when I like just miss it. I feel like it might be down here. This looks like a thing, doesn't it? And there it is, found it. Who's the best at this game? Number one in the world, d plays. Come back here. Yes. Okay. So now I'm going to show you 
the sneaky sneaky. That I was gonna try to be coy about before. I do like using the propeller hair. It does give you a little bit more control when you're swimming instead of just kind of flailing around like I was before. Feels pretty awesome to do it. Okay. So once again, you're going to swim in here and turn off the lights and then go back. Thankfully, though, you will not have to finish the rest of the level. But if you swim up here all the way instead of just goofing, you got to have Dixie, of course. Thank you, game. I'm aware. Coming all the way up. It's your secret exit time. Oh, yes. And that's the end of the level. Oh, well, I don't need banana coins, but I guess of all the things to get, it's probably the best. That's a level clear. Ooh, and if you guys thought that level was fun, you just wait for the next one. It only took me 20 minutes to knock out one level, which is horrible. We're actually only going to be doing two levels today. You guys are going to love this next one. High Tide Ride, if you can guess what type of... Emotional... Emotional, that's not a word. But <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now. What method of motion... We're going to be doing here in a moment. You win a banana coin. Also, it's the theme song. I just noticed that. Okay. This is fun, right? There's a barrel under there. I wonder what happens if we take it. Whee! It's a bonus! So yes, we start off this level with a bonus. Doing so gives you, a, lulls you into a false sense of security. But this is all you're going to be doing this level. It's not. There's going to be some riding. Yes, there will be. You are in for a treat of me panicking. Thankfully, though, there are only four puzzle pieces and five puzzle pieces in this level. So getting them, the it's not about the quantity. It's the quality. Because it's a minecart level. Yay. We love this. Okay. Oops. That's what happens when you make a mistake. Okay, back at it. First try. Level, doing pretty good. Thankfully, we've already acquired everything. So we will just treat this. Okay, that works. That was actually probably a bad thing to do, because I might want to... Oops. Okay, that actually worked. That's a tactical... A tactical smash. And if you find someone that you like, sometimes you'll have a tactical smash. Alright, so enjoy this kind of dynamic... Computer angle. Computer angle. Camera angle. My goodness. I'm about as sharp as a butter knife right now. We'll try that again. I do enjoy that they are able to kind of switch the perspective here. It is very nice. And I get my hearts back. That's probably for the best. I feel like I should have gotten all those. Let's find out what happens if we do. Man, I'm just burning through these lives. It would be pretty horrific, though, if it took me 96 tries to, to beat this level. I mean, I know I'm bad at this game, but I don't think I'm that bad. Depends who you ask. All right, let's see if I can do this jump a little sooner. Okay, gives you nothing. Great. I had to know. But this one's kind of fun. You are going to be jumping back and forth between the rails. And that unlocks this puzzle piece. You got to get it all. Oh, gosh dang it. I thought I was jumping the right heckin' way. I'm kind of destroying the... the energy and the... the fun of this level by how bad I am at it. These episodes are supposed to be shorter compared to the other Let's Plays. <laughs> Unfortunately, not today. But yes, getting all these bananas is required. Oops. Is required to make this puzzle piece appear. So make sure you do that. Grab your O, get back. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're going to have to be pretty quick. This one. Oop. 
Yes. So, mind your P's and Q's. Oops. Okay. I say that as I don't. <laughs> I like to give heads up. So, uh, you know. It's also brutal is that it starts you from here every single time. Kind of rubs your face in the P. Don't you love that? I also don't really feel... Random thought. I don't really feel like the theme music is good level music. Inside the cave music is fine, like, this is okay. Oops. Yeah, you gotta make sure your button presses are real rapid, real quick. I need to be more accurate when I'm pressing the buttons. Thankfully, it is pretty responsive, so I won't blame the game for it this time. But there's the puzzle piece. You gotta be real quick on all these for the most part. Oh, thank goodness. Saved the day, literally. Oops, ABD, almost forgot. Oops. Okay. I promise I don't pre-play these. And you're like, yeah, obviously. I also think it's funny how the music just- oh my gosh, how the music just shifts so fast. Man. If I ever wanted to make a ticket to talk, I would make fail compilations of myself all day. Oops, I did the same thing twice. <laughs> That's a tricky jump, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, do you see this? It unlocks the next level if you're that bad. Oh, game, don't patronize me, okay? I don't need you. Any all right, this is a little comical. Not on purpose, I promise. I really wish it would have just let me keep going. I was doing fine until it set me up on this stupid... All right, so there's the there's the no ABJ. Don't always be jumping, but always be ducking. Oh, I jumped. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Good thing I have all these lives. I might have to go do Bopopolis a couple of times with how I'm landing up here. It's definitely not intentional. I'm not even doing it for the lol, I promise. Do people still say that for the lols? Is that thing? That's the thing that the kids say these days. That slaps! Oh man, what a banger! Oh, that's... I'm looking so ratchet... Oh, I missed. Bruh! That's probably my least favorite. Just say bro, man. Like, it's already there. Why do we need more words to say the same thing? I just learned what based means the other day. I feel like that's also kind of dumb, but hey, whatever. Language is ever-evolving. Say whatever you want, I suppose. I'll still judge you for it. That's okay. It's healthy. It's healthy judgment. Don't worry about it. Alright. Oops. <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. I jumped into nothing. I gotta really put my concentrated cap on. Finish this level sometime today. I'm feeling good about this. This this is gonna be the one, I feel it. Nope. The one after this one is gonna be the one. I'm also using a different controller setup, so maybe that's my excuse. I don't have my pro controller this time around. So things are a little bit more difficult for me. I'm not used to it. I'm using Joy-Cons like the average person might. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? Okay. Jump back, oh my gosh, come on. You have to be so fast. You gotta be so fast, like Sanic. The cutting back and forth with the music though is pretty good. How it doesn't fit at all. It's not as fitting as ABDing. That's for sure. All right, let's get this. Oh my gosh, that doesn't count. You have to jump like right as you touch it. This is brutal. More brutal than brutal honesty. And I'm trying to keep commentating because I don't want to leave you guys here. Oh, man. My heart's in it. I, I promise. You know? I'm not phoning it in. I, that's for sure. Alright, let's do this right. Oops. <laughs> it's 
been a long day. Okay. Take 700. I almost want to put a death counter, but I don't have the energy to do that. I'm also embarrassed. As it is, I don't need a reminder of my... of my failure. My ineptness at Donkey Kong Country. If I was playing this off-camera, I probably would be perfect at it. I'd believe it. Nope. Oh, I would've had it if I would've... Ugh. Darn heckin' darn. What the frick? Do people say that? This is a PG channel. Playing games, that's what that stands for. Okay. Playing games, killing marine life, because they deserve it. It's like the perspective that's kind of messed with my brain a little bit. I think that's kind of it. <sighs> I'm holding, I'm holding over, I promise. It's not registered. It's not registering. I wonder if I, I'm going to try to use the D-pad this time. Oops. That was, that was a tactical reset. I'm probably going to take as much time to do this level as I did the other one, apparently. Oops, okay. Definitely not used to using the D-pad. Definitely not used to it. But we'll see if the D-pad's more accurate. It helps if I hold the button. Okay, so we have died at least 15 times on this level. In the game, I still really enjoy patronizing me. Is it, do people say patronizing or do they say patronizing? I think patronizing is more like a British way. Patronizing me. That's probably a horrible British accent. I apologize for any and all of you watching this game from the British Isles. Ugh. Yeah, that's really, that's a brutal jump. I need my brain to, to fire faster. two brain cells in my skull to smash together as quickly as possible so we can gather that last actually I don't think that's even the last one all right I'm gonna do it oops oh I jumped too soon hopefully none of you are in pain hopefully this is funny I'm in pain laugh at my failure Maybe misery loves company. Maybe your empathy is triggering really hard right now when you feel bad for me. Like a mother watching their child drop their ice cream in the sand. Oh no. Do you like your ice cream? Finally. Oh, that was the last puzzle. That was the last puzzle piece? Really? Oh, I still need a Kong letter. That's what I'm missing. I'm like, what am I missing there? Oops. I don't even know what happened there. But I do know is that I got that puzzle piece when I have to do it again. Yes. Progress, guys. We're doing it. One step at a time. Oh, okay. Thought I had goofed there. I'm gonna go back to control stick. Yeah, using the Joy-Cons is definitely not something I'm used to. I rarely use them because I have a pro controller. I prefer it. Oh, I got it that time, didn't I? Maybe I didn't, I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. Let's get this. Very good. I don't know why I missed that the first time. That was very strange. Oh, uh, thank goodness. The idea of putting a minecart inside of a barrel and it exploding is kind of strange to me. All right, let's see where that final letter is. There it is. Oh, goodness. Can we just be done? Is this it? Oh, that'd be horrible if that's what caused me to die one last time. It would be pretty funny, though. No, unfortunately, I don't have the wherewithal to stand any more of that pain. Is that everything? Oh, boy. That almost took me as long as it took me to do one and a half levels. World 4 is not messing around. Wow. And it said that it already unlocked the level, but I unlocked the level then anyway. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
Oof. Thanks for dealing with that, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. It's been Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. I've been D-Mike, and I'll see you guys next time for a better performance. Bye.